Hey everybody, welcome to the Sparketh YouTube channel. It's Maria, and for today's video, in honor of National Watercolor Month, I'll be doing a watercolor piece. So I hope you all enjoy. So for materials, I have Angora watercolors, a water jar and some brushes, some watercolor paper, an HB pencil and eraser, ruler, and a 005 brown micron. So, for today's piece, I will be painting a house in watercolors. This is not just any house, it's my grandma's house. And to begin with, I decided to measure the watercolor paper 5 by 7 inches and create a border around it with painter's tape. Um, adding a border is optional, you don't, you don't have to add a border. I just thought it would fit this piece nicely and add a special touch. Um, so if you've never added a border to any of your pieces, I would suggest maybe try it out a few times. Maybe you like how it looks, maybe not, but don't be afraid to add a border. And I've never painted a house, like, ever, <laughs> so it was a bit of a challenge. Um, the only buildings I've ever drawn <laughs> were either for teaching or while I was in school. Um, so I tried to create um, a two-point perspective drawing to accurately capture the house. The photograph I had, <laughs> it was a picture that my mom gave me <laughs> and it was, so I took a picture of that photo <laughs> and so it's basically a picture of a picture and the right side of the house was kind of missing so I tried my best to draw in that little missing part and I also removed the car, there was a person and there was this little window shade on the right side of the house um, and I f just because I felt like it kind of distracted just from the house itself so yeah I kind of just took those out of the piece and yeah and so the reason behind I'm paint why I'm painting this piece is because my uncle is visiting from Maine and I wanted to give him a little something to remind him of where he grew up um, so if you're ever stumped on what you should paint for somebody ever, I would say painting something either sentimental to them or something that they really love and it'll always be like a wonderful gift. I guarantee it. <laughs> so yeah, if you're ever stumped, paint something sentimental. Um, but anyways, this was a really fun piece to create. Not only because it was my first watercolor house painting, but because I also knew that it was going to make somebody really, really happy. And yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed watching me paint this little watercolor piece. And I made it also 5 by 7 so I could find a frame for it really, really easily. So yeah. And then here is the finished piece. So one important thing to mention is that Sparketh is turning 7 years old, Woo! <laughs> so we're going to be having um, a little celebration, it's going to be here on our YouTube live, it's going to be on July 24th at 6.30pm Eastern, and it's going to be a celebration of creativity, we're going to have a free art lesson slash activity, and you're all going to have a chance to connect with the team of professional artists. And you're gonna hear from our founders. And lastly, we're gonna have a student art show slash content for our Sparketh members. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out www.sparketh.com for full online art courses where kids and teens can learn from home. And our Sparketh community page for fun artsy content and contests. Bye.